Cue the intro. The winner of Novimpia's Asshole Race will win a cash prize of £1.25, some random shit from our house, and a signed Novimpia t-shirt, as well as the title of Novimpia's next Grand Master Asshole. May the best dickhead, best dickhead win! <laughs> oh yes, that intro that we've come to love and cherish. After the one time we've seen it. And it's down to it guys, we're here now, this is week one, the entrants have submitted their shit. Your challenge was to give us your most prideful, pridey look and record a 15 second pride speech. And almost everyone did it. <laughs> yeah, someone didn't do it and we'll get to that fucker. However, I just wanna say full disclaimer, we've just been to an escape room and um, we crawled around in straw and stuff. So I look a little bit cracked, but I'm thinking we, it can just about pass. It was the MacGuffin project in Bournemouth. We will be putting up a video about that soon. That was so much fun. If you want to see us escape from a, a room with Charmaine Diamond White in, in Geesh, sweaty as you like, then stay tuned. Right, let's go through the entries we received. First up, we have Haneo the Cat. Now I might need to start this again. Okay, don't play that again, please. So that's, <laughs> this is Haleo's pride look. Which, let's be honest, <laughs> it looks like you're shitting out Hawaii. Tracy says, here's my submission for the first challenge of Novimpia's arsehole race. Henny, I'm giving you Kmart lays that were cut up and sewed back together. Apparently, I've also given you a bodice that Hannah was not having, so she kept pushing it down. Whoops, but I think it's cute. So, the video is a bunch of work. What is tomography? Is that a real thing? I don't know. Um, I, we're going to go through all these at the end and we'll say, you know, if you're the top, if you're safe, you're in the bottom. However, I think this is for a cat, I suppose. I think okay. she's majestic. <laughs> she looks like a, a gay mermaid. She looks beautiful. So just a mermaid then. Yeah. Um, it looks like you're shitting out fabric. <laughs> It looks, looks like, like she is pulling fabric. fabric. Hashtag Project Runway. So, um, you know, it's not the best. I, I was upset that we didn't get a voice. I we would have liked to hear... Hanayo's voice, please. I would have liked to hear what Hanayo sounds like. Um, you know, but it's not terrible. But she... Is it, is it she? she? She's beautiful. It's I great. It. Right, um, moving on right. to... Next up, we have Mary Berry. of being in a loving, lesbian relationship with Sue Perkins and for being fucking Jewish cancer. Thank you and good night. Look at well, that bright look. I am so happy that she is Australian, all of a sudden, cardboard Mary Berry, who knew? Secondly, <laughs> she's got a full on fucking, again, very Hawaiian. The theme, what's the theme for this week, Hawaii? Did I miss, no. the, did I miss the ticket? No, it was pride. She's wearing a bodice constructed of various different crisp packaging in different colours, which I think is very smart. There's also a lei, um, like Hawaiian belt and a grass skirt. I think this is very full of pride. She's a proud lady. Mary tonight, you, proud were, Mary. you were my favourite and I am just so happy that you came full on. You know, you're not waiting to save something for later on. You're bringing it every single time and it was a great speech. I felt moved to tears. <laughs> Moved I was. Sorry, right. moved. Next up we have a lot Ooh, of words. A lot of wood. I'm proud to be an arsehole. I'm proud of my sexuality. And most of all, I'm proud of the stick up my butt. Remember, you're born naked and the rest is a stick up your butt. Well, a lotta. You seem to have come in a grass skirt, which would be Hawaiian. I think a lot of people have done that. I so... really like the heart boobies and headpiece. The shoes look really nice. I'm going to say this once, Alotta. You're hot. We know you're hot. Stop relying on that body. Because all you've done is come out in a grass skirt and stu stuck some stickers to your tits. And the rest is all wood. So your speech was amazing because I loved that thing about the stick up your butt. But don't rely on body all the time. And don't rely on the stick up your butt. However, you know, it's the stick it. up your butt saved you. The <laughs> stick up your butt saved you. Yeah. Very, very prideful actually. Right, so next we have Charmaine Ashley. Is off camera looking at me all the time in case you're wondering why I keep throwing her a death stare. Go on. Next we have Ashley the Pantyhose doll. And she is in uh, Georgina? Gorgina? 
Gorgina trans flag dress. Hi, Olympia. It's Ashley. I usually try to be funny, as you well know. But when I was thinking of how I am prideful, I decided I need to go with the serious group. The whole reason I was created was because the person who created me is a transgender woman. She created me as a manifestation of her desire to be a girl. She had me for two years before she transitioned. And for those two years, I represented the hope that she wouldn't need me one day. These days, I represent her pride as a transgender woman, reminding her of her journey. I don't think we said we were going to allow trans in. <laughs> I don't know if we outlined that starting off with. That seems like, you know, that's a red flag for me. I think Ashley the Pudgy Host doll is beautiful. I adore her outfit. I love her rainbow headband. And that speech was so heartfelt. I think this this is this is a 10 out of 10 look for me. I love it. She embodies use, everything we asked for. She's repurposed a bracelet as some sort of belt necklace, which is great because of her size as a tiny person. She's gonna work, you know, because she's tiny got tiny people. They're little people. No, trans is what she is. Um, I thought for a second that that sort of hat was it was giving me Jamaica, and that's the wrong islands. Hawaii was what we were looking for. But we were looking for Hawaii for this week. So <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I think your speech, however, was actually quite it, on a serious note, which you would not expect from Ashley the Pantyhose Doll. Nova's just drinking cider there. Great, Nova. You're not supposed to drink on the job. Um, yes, that was a very nice speech. Was not expecting that. I really like Ashley's voice as well. Her voice is very nice. Well, the voice is a bit creepy, to be honest. Right, well, that was very rude. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, next is Ariane. The LGBT plus community have a difficult road to follow, full of fear and hatred, especially if you're, you know, Welsh on top of that. We should be proud to still be standing, even if you've been through some major sheep shit. I am proud to be a part of the LGBT community and will wear both my gayness and Welshness with pride. So, I, I'm, I'm in love with this gown. That must have taken hours to make that gown. I think, you know... At least minutes. I think realistically it's just a flag you've wrapped around a doll, but it is a gown. What is it? No, it's not. It's a tablecloth. It has flowers on it. It's oh, beautiful. It's some kind of fabric. It's flowers. Yes, it's, it's Hawaiian flowers. And she has a flower in her hair. The hair is gorgeous. What's happened to her eyes? We need to talk about the eyes, which are a bit creepy. Yeah, well... Those weren't like that when we saw you last, Ariane. I'm not gonna lie, Ariane. Your speech actually sort of did not really sink in with me. I found it to be a bit non. Where did the cataracts come from? Uh, something about sheep shit. I'll, I'll take that on the nose. The sheep shit Welsh bitch. No, you just don't like it because she's Welsh and I think that's No, unfair. that's not true. Charlotte Church was always a tasty piece. <laughs> <laughs> was she Welsh? Right. But you look great. I think that that's very, that RuPaul hair with the flower in it must have taken hours and hours. So look, you probably just did this. But <laughs> great. I just I thought you I thought your speech was shit. <laughs> Next up we have Icehole. My name is Icehole, and I am a proud gender fluid queen. I remember the first time I was at a gay bar, floating in a vodka Red Bull. And as I contemplated the surroundings, the people, the music, I realised I was home. And that sense of community is what I am most proud of. Now, Ice Hole has come to us today. Well, it looks like you've melted in the bottom of a bowl. Of rainbow coloured You've put ink liquids. dyes in there. And that, to me, is so ingenious. I think this is stunning. You're beautiful. coming from a different direction, you know, completely. Can you walk? Well, no. You know, you've got a disability. <laughs> Because you're just sort of... But, very beautifully executed. That like is that a were, beautiful pride. I'd like to thank Charmaine for sending on a packet in the in the background. <laughs> she thought she was going to get away with that, and now she's just, like, creasing. Such a cunt. Uh, but I think this is such a beautiful presentation. Um, I think you and Mary are probably the strongest that we've seen tonight. Um, and I, I like just Ashley as well. Don't forget Ashley. No, I didn't like Ashley. This is Harry the Cactus now. I'm gonna have to say, Harry, I'm gonna need more from you at this late stage. You can't just stick a gay icon ribbon on you and call it a pride look. It's a little bit, especially considering your entry look, which was rhinestone for filth. 
that was such a bar that you had set for yourself and now I feel like we need to be meeting that again. This, You've this left the not... bar. You've gone home. You, yeah. <laughs> Yes, exactly. You've left Ice Hole there. Um, a great time in the book. Also, Ripple. I was a bit upset. I know that you said that there were audio problems, but I was a bit upset not to hear her voice, his voice, their voice. Um, so generally, a bit disappointing, um, Harry. Going to need more from you, I'm afraid. Charmaine's just dropped a crisp on the floor and she's picking it up. Next up, we have Nigella Torsen. I take pride in my bad flesh, but pride was a fight, not a right. We always had. Please stand with me, Nigella Torsen. Best is big head. And remember, we have gay power in the face of injustice. Hashtag no vimpier asshole race. So first of all, I will have whatever Nigella Torsen is on, please, because she seems so fucking relaxed. That's too relaxed for my liking, Nigella. Well, I think if it's we're being really honest, look, is it? you've just you're just <laughs> naked. So standing from a point of view of this is me and I'm proud to be me, yes, it's she a powerful here, message. My look is a simple suit accessorized with a lit cigarette. My inspirations Where's are Sylvia Rivera, Betty Davis, and Blackpool nudists. There's no suit though. No. Did you forget to put the suit on ah. before you took the picture? Because did you buy a suit for Nigella? And you just her outfit is literally a cigarette. So I think in terms of your outfit, it you know the the, the idea is powerful, but the execution it's just dull as ass. It's boring. But I do like your creepy drug voice. And <laughs> I speech, love the voice. Your speech will literally made no sense. So on that level, I also love it because it made no sense at all. Oh hi there. It's me, Belle. You've caught me at an awkward moment. I'm just getting my undercarriage. And general rails seem to. When I'm not fighting the war on equality and being a complete and utter arsehole, I love nothing more than relaxing and getting pampered by somebody else. I've now, we've had to tailor this off in the middle because you go way over 15 minutes. Someone got way too excited about way their dog's undercarriage. too <laughs> excited. Also, side note, there's no outfit. Where the bloody hell's the pride outfit? <laughs> she wasn't that proud, clearly. So this is one of my low ones and I don't care to talk about it any further. <laughs> so for those of you that can count, you may realise that we have only discussed nine of our contestants. And that is because one of you took the, the idea of being an arsehole in the wrong direction and just didn't submit anything. So we'll get to that person in a moment. Needless to say, that person is going to be eliminated. I am going to put forth my favourite of the week. It's a toss up between Ice Hole and Mary Berry, and I don't know which one I prefer. What about you? I adored Ice Hole and Mary Berry, but I just, I think it has to go for me to Mary Berry because there was just a little bit more construction and effort put in. If you're going to go with Mary Berry, I'm happy to say Mary Berry is the winner of this week's challenge. And congratulations. therefore, congratulations, you win immunity next week. But, but don't, don't rest of your laurels. Don't enter some shit. Do something good, please. Yeah. Because we'll do a, a recap of your journey, and if there's some shit in there, people will, will notice. And unfortunately, <clears throat> Mitzi Metastasis, this is the end of the road for you, my dear, because you did not submit shit. Mitzi, I thought you had what it takes <laughs> to go all the way. Now. Fuck off. I just want to say, I just want to have a little minute to say that the amount of effort you put in to get into this competition. How dare you! I flew you first class to this competition. Yes, I thought we were ready for you. We were all ready for you. Yeah, how dare you, actually? Because you put so much fucking effort in. I thought you could be top three, but you shat all over this competition, Mitzi. Anyway, okay. that's all. Let's all calm down. I know where you live. Let's all take a chill pill. Congratulations, Mary Berry. Congratulations. On winning this challenge. I'm just gonna, I'd just like to say though. the challenge for next Just week. quickly, the week ones this week. Just just very briefly, um, I thought that Harry the Cactus, you know, may have, you may have fallen you, to the bottom you two. You disappointed us. And also You're Nigella. You're lucky that Mitzi um, well, didn't out to be a submit. Cunt. And Nigella as well. The pair of you, your looks comprised of single accessories and that is not a look. Yes. One accessory a look does not make. But congratulations to the remaining nine contestants. You're through to the next round. Yay! Your challenge so, for the next round is going to be... We would like you to create your own legendary creature look. Pick a mythical or legendary creature and 
<laughs> I think doing? she just farted. You can't. <laughs> I think I broke the table. <laughs> So it's a, a, your best, best legendary creature look, and you have to submit a 15 second. What? Well, no, 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 no. We want a choreographed routine to the chorus of our smash hit single, Legendary Creature by Novimpia. Yes, but 15 seconds is about right. Well, whatever the chorus is. Listen, Nova, don't, don't make this hard on you. What? Dance your ass off, legendary creature chorus, dress like a legendary creature, and we'll see you next week. Yes, this is the deadline. Do not miss it. If you miss it, you will be disqualified. We're wearing the same gloves. Mine are much nicer. They're the fucking same. Please subscribe to our channel. Find the uh, links to our social media in the description below. Again, please submit to hashtag Novimpia's asshole race and to follow all the entries that we get, please follow us on Facebook at Novimpia and we'll be uploading everybody there. Oh, it stinks in here. <coughs> right, it's that it then. Goodbye. Can we get KFC now? Yeah.